Welcome Rockstar, thank you for showing up today. We have an awesome upper body and core workout for us today. All you'll need for this is an elevated surface and some weighted objects. Definitely go on the heavier side, so if you have like water bottles or anything, that's going to work, but it's not gonna be a ton of resistance. So if you have something heavier like gallon jugs um, or maybe some heavy books or dumbbells would be ideal. So you can go ahead and grab that. We'll be doing push-ups, so if you need that elevated surface, you can grab that as well. Um, so let's go ahead and just get right into this. We're gonna warm up the whole body with some slow burpees to a high knee. So grab that elevated surface. If you have not warmed up, I encourage you to use this first round as your warm up. Otherwise, go ahead and do a quick warm up and come on back. Okay, so first move, let's get our timer. We're gonna do this for a minute just to get the whole body warmed up. So for starters, bend those knees, plant the hands on the ground, jump or step your feet back to that tall plank. We're gonna do a push up, bring that chest all the way down to the mat, press back up, jump or step your feet in, and then one, two, three, four, high knees. Good, back down, jump or step your feet. Nice, strong push up, jump your feet back in, one, two, three, four, awesome work. Okay, so on these push ups, I wanna do a quick little push up tutorial. I want you to stop, step back in this tall plank, hold this, and then pull your shoulders back away from your ears, just hold this. And then keeping those shoulder blades back, push up or drop down and then press up using your back muscles. Jump back up, one, two, three, four. So when we use our lats, we are able to recruit a whole lot more muscle into those push ups so we're not relying on just our shoulders. Good, give me four more high knees and rest. Awesome job. Okay, grab a weighted object. We're gonna do an overhead tricep extension. I prefer to do these kneeling. If you wanna do these standing, you can. I just prefer kneeling. It does not change the tricep move. It's just something that I prefer. So, we're gonna do eight to 12. I want you to pull those weighted objects, or one, up, overhead, and engage that core. So we have a tendency to arch our back here, even if we're standing on us to lock in that core. And we're gonna bring our weight straight back. Good, and press back up. Good, those elbows, play around with that elbow positioning. You wanna feel those triceps working. Sometimes we have a tendency to pull those back and we'll stretch the lats, and sometimes we wanna to be too far out. So find that sweet spot to where your triceps are doing this movement. Good, power up. Make sure we're not just locking our elbows out either. We're really using those triceps to press and contract. Good, keep that core locked in. Give me two more, last one, and rest. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna move into a bench over row to a reverse fly. So I'm gonna use a little bit of a lighter weight. Because of that reverse fly, we might need to go down. So we might be able to row more than we can fly. So use weight wisely. Before we get started, I want us to roll our shoulder blades down and back, engage that core, squeeze those glutes and then hinge at the hips, keeping those glutes engaged. Eight to 12 each way, we're gonna fly and row, good. Fly and row. That's three. Make sure we're initiating with our, el with our back, we're leading with our elbows, and make sure our ears aren't coming up near our shoulders, just like we did in that push-up. Pull those shoulder blades down and back. Good work. Fly. And in that fly, make sure we're not arching our back. Keep that core nice and strong. Awesome job. Okay, give me about two to three more. Depending on what weight you're using, how fatigued you are, you might be able to do that three. And rest, awesome job. So. You felt those back muscles in that fly in that row. I want you to think about those same back muscles when we do this push up. So whether you're staying on that elevated surface or moving to the ground, I wanna see good clean push ups. Chest is coming all the way down and our back is not gonna bow. Are we ready? 45 seconds, let's go. Jump those feet back, nice strong push up. Jump those feet in, one, two, three, four. Plant, jump, push up. One, two, three, four, awesome job. Don't rush this push up. That's why it's a slow burpee. We wanna really focus on that push up, make it clean. 
Same thing, you can drop to your knees and do that exact same thing. 15 seconds. Awesome work. Keep that nice strong core, like our torsos in a little corset. Good, four high knees. And rest. Woo. Slow that heart rate down. We're gonna go to the overhead tricep extensions. And let's go. You can also use a weighted object and hold it overhead like this. Just with my heavier weight, I feel like I get a better tricep move with this position. Okay, are we ready? Lock in that core. And go, eight to 12. Good. Awesome job. Five. Keep that core locked in. Six, feel those triceps. Seven. Good, try for four more. Try to get to that 12, push yourself. If you can only make it to 10, that's okay. That's why we have this rep range. And rest. Awesome job. Okay, grab those weighted objects. We're gonna do that reverse fly to row. So roll those shoulder blades down and back. Engage that core, suck in that spine, and hinge. Good. And go. Fly to row. Awesome job. Three, make sure you're breathing properly. Don't hold your breath. Good. My weight today is kind of leaving me in that maybe eight to 10 rep range. That 11 and 12 might push me to my limits. I'm gonna try for one more. And rest. Awesome job, grab some water. Let's give ourselves a break and then we'll go into that last round. Okay, so how are you feeling? Do you feel this in your back? Do you feel this in your lower back? When you're doing that hinged movement, do you start to get fatigued in that lower back? That means we're not engaging that core. So lock that pelvis in, engage and hold strong. Okay, slow burpees to high knees. We're gonna do this for a full minute. And I want each one of these pushups to be good and clean. Are we ready? We're gonna start in five, four, Three, two, and go. Plant those hands, jump those feet back. Nice, clean push up. Jump those feet in. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Keep that belly button sucked in on those high knees. Good. Jump those feet out. Remember that elevated surface is there for you or that kneeling position. You can also challenge yourself by extending one leg and working more core. One, two, three, four. Hang in there. You're crushing it. One, two, three, four. Give me 15 seconds. One, two, three, four. Awesome work. Push up. Come back up. We got time for one more push up. Let's go. And rest. Awesome work. We're done with that move. We don't have to do it ever again. Maybe not ever again, but in this workout. Okay. Kneeling position. Grab that elevated surface. Get in that starting position. Make sure we're tucking that pelvis in. And extend. Good, feel this in your triceps. Focus on those triceps. Four, good. Whoo, the burn is real. Good work. You might need to reposition that dumbbell and then get back into it. I'm going for three, two, last one, one, 
And that was a perfect, perfect amount of weight. <laughs> awesome job. Okay, reverse row or reverse fly to row. And then we have a quick finisher, we'll move on to that second round. Okay, grab those weights. Roll the shoulders back, engage that core, hinge at the hips. We got a row to a fly, good. Row. Row, awesome work. Keep that core stable. Make sure we're not pulling those elbows up towards our ears, using those lats. Awesome work. When we do that fly, really grip those weights and pull towards the ceiling. When we have a good grip on those weights, they feel lighter. Last one each way for me. And rest. Awesome job. The sweat is already real and we didn't even really do high intensity. Okay. Grab some water, shake it out. And we'll go on to our finisher. Our finisher is gonna be back and chest focus. So I want you to feel what it's like when you use your back in a push up. So grab heavier weights that you can row for five repetitions. And you can have that elevated surface too. So this is less of a burnout and more of a be in your body. Okay, so grab those weighted objects. We're gonna hinge at the hips. We're gonna do five slow rows. So hold up and let it down slow. Feel that back. Pull away from your ears. Two, away from your ears. Pull those elbows back towards the wall behind you. Three, good, feel those back muscles. Be really in your body. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Don't drop the weights, let the weights pull your arms down. Last one, all the way down. And then get on that position where you're gonna do your push-ups and pull those shoulders back, feel those back muscles, and give me five push-ups. Three, feel those back muscles. Don't let those shoulders come towards your ears. And rest, one more. Row, slow it down. Good, two, let them down nice and slow, keep that core engaged. Three, Pull those shoulders away from your ears, elbows towards the wall. And last one. Good. Five push-ups using your back. You can do this on the ground in a kneeling position too. Five, four, three, two, last one. And rest. Awesome job. Amazing work. Grab some water, shake it out. Let's give ourselves a little break. We'll go into the last round. Last set, not round. <laughs> okay, so our next one's gonna be a squat thrust. Our first one's gonna be a squat thrust to a knee drive. So a little bit simpler than that first one we did. And it's gonna be a slow knee drive. We're gonna do it for 45 seconds. Again, remember you can use that elevated surface for starters, and then you can go, to the, go down to the ground if you feel like you can. Are we ready? Let's get it. Okay, plant those hands, jump or step your feet back to that tall plank, jump your feet in, slow knee drive, slow knee drive. Plant those hands, jump back, come back in. Slow, really crunch those abs. Crunch, crunch. All the way through. Don't just tuck your chin to your chest, but bring that knee up and across. Bring knee up and across. Crunch, crunch. 15 seconds. Stay strong with me. Good. Hang in there, we got five, four, three, stay strong, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. Okay, superwoman trap activator. Move the elevated surface out of the way. We're gonna do this body weight. So if you're new to this, I'll show you modifications. Otherwise we are on our stomachs. Okay, 
So from here, if you've done a superwoman before, you know what to do, you can go for it. I'll also show you the modification. Okay, so for starters, extend those feet out, extend those arms out. If you need to touch those toes to the ground, you can. I want you to pull those arms up towards the ceiling and hold. Good. When you feel like you can, I want you to drop and lift that upper body. Drop, lift, drop, lift. Good. We're going for 45 seconds. Pull those shoulder blades away from your ear and lift. Lift, good. You can also just do the lower body. Kind of TP your hands and lift, good. And if you're feeling advanced today, you can do both at the same time. Lift and down. Lift, five more seconds, push through. Three, two, last one, and rest. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, curl to press. Let's get strong on this one. So choose weight wisely. We wanna make it through eight to 12 repetitions. And we're gonna use all muscle on this. So begin standing, weights in your hands, roll those shoulder blades down and back, engage that core. And from here, we're gonna do a hammer curl and then we're gonna shift and press up overhead. Good, come on back down, that's one. Curl, press. When we press, we're not just reaching for the ceiling and reaching our shoulders up towards our ears, we still have those lats locked in. Slowly down and relax, good. Curl to press. Curl, press, awesome job. Remember eight to 12 means that if you're using a weight that's super heavy and you can only make it to eight, that's perfectly fine. If maybe you can make it to 12, that's great. We just don't wanna use a weight where we could maybe do 15 to 20 or something that's too heavy that we're only making it to like four or five. Good, give me two more. I might've lost count, but we're here to get strong today. And rest. Awesome job, shake it out, grab some water. So we're gonna do two more rounds of that. Do a quick finisher at the end, and then we'll have a great day. So you showed up to work today, that's what I want you to do. Show up, don't hold back, work within your limits and be smart, but challenge yourself. Okay, squat, thrust, knee drives. I'm gonna do it on the ground. If you wanna stay on your elevated surface, you can do that. We're starting in three, two, one, rest, rest. I mean work, <laughs> good, crunch, crunch. Awesome work, crunch, crunch. Remember, you can always do that step back where we step back, step in and crunch. Good work. Crunch. Awesome work. 20 seconds left. You're crushing it, rock star. Let's get it. Stay strong. Crunch that torso. Crunch. Less than 10 seconds. We got five, four, three, stay strong, two, finish these crunches out, and rest. Whoo! Awesome work, slow that breath down, big deep breaths, and big exhale. Awesome work, big inhale, big exhale. Okay, let's come on down for those super women's. You know your alternatives, you can do all upper, all lower, or you can do it the same. You can also switch back and forth. So an upper, a lower, an upper, a lower. Okay, let's go. Start reaching and lift and back down. Lift. We're doing this for 45 seconds. What I want us to do is go for 30. And then at the end, we're gonna hold up for 15 seconds. Good, use that back. Try not to just flail up. We want to kick out, press away from our body, and lift. Good. Give me two more lifts. And up and hold, 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 hold. Okay, reach towards that wall. Gaze is neutral. We're not looking up, we're looking down. Arms should try to be by our ears. Good, hold, you got this. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. The sweat is 
real over here. Awesome work. Okay, grab those weighted objects. We got some curl to presses. Come to standing. Same thing as always. We always roll those shoulder blades down and back. We engage that core, tuck that pelvis, and curl eight to 12, and press. Slowly lower down. Remember not to just end here and then just fall. We wanna control and press. Control and lower. Good work. Man, I should have come equipped with a sweat towel today. I was not prepared for this amount of sweat. Awesome work. Curl, press, awesome job. Okay, I'm gonna shoot for three more. Where are you at? You got this. Press, squeeze those weights. And we got one last one here. You got it, curl, press, and come to center. Amazing job. The sweat, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. <laughs> Grab some water. <sighs> Big deep breath, slow that breath down. <sighs> Remember too, if you're getting to the end of this workout and you're kind of losing steam, maybe you didn't fuel yourself enough, maybe you're dehydrated, maybe there's just something going on where you're not feeling at your best, you're not 100%, lower your weight and keep moving. Movement is movement. I'd rather you finish this with lower weight than burn yourself out and give up. So be wise. We have 45 seconds of our squat thrust to knee drive. Let's really get our core engaged even more on this one. Are we ready? Let's start in five, four, three, two, 40, 45 seconds starts now. Jump back, jump in, knee drive, knee drive. Use that core to get you up out of that squat thrust. So don't just jump your knees in and plant your toes. Think about using your core and lifting yourself up to the sky to plant those feet. Crunch, crunch, good. It takes more energy and muscle, but it's so much easier on your joints. And you get a better workout. Crunch, crunch, 15 seconds. Crunch, crunch. Think about bringing those hips to the ceiling and planting those heels standing. Crunch, crunch, and rest. Amazing. Okay, superwoman list. Let's go. Same thing, we're gonna do 30 seconds and then a 15 second lift. One big deep breath, big exhale. Come on down and lift, good, reach and lift. Gaze is neutral, we're trying to get our arms by our ears. Lift, remember, you can just do that lower body or just the upper body. Good, keep pushing through, we got less than 10 seconds and then we'll do our hold. Lift, lift, one last lift and hold at the top. Breathe through it. Don't hold your breath. Strong body. Lift those arms up. Good. Three. Don't stop. Two. One. And rest. Amazing job. Roll on up. My mat is so sweaty. <laughs> okay, let's grab those weights and let's get into these curl to presses. Okay. Eight to 12, we know how to get started. Roll those shoulder blades down and back. Engage that core before we start. And curl to press. Especially when we're overhead, no arching of that back. Curl, press. Awesome work. Woo, focus on that form as we get tired. Really, really focus on what you're doing. I'm going for three more. Good. Last two. We got this one more curl. Keep that core tucked in. And rest. So, so strong. 
Amazing work. Okay, we got time for one little finisher. This is all subjective to what your fitness level is. So I want you to be wise with what you're doing. We're gonna do max push-ups of a burnout. So we're gonna do like our most challenging variation. So whether that's on the ground on your knees or maybe an elevated surface to a more elevated surface. <sighs> Move all those weights out of the way if you'd like. So I'm gonna start on my toes and then I'm gonna drop down to kneeling. If you're starting out kneeling and you go to an elevated surface, that's great. I want you to pick two modifications, one easier, one more challenging. We're gonna do as many push-ups as you can. Move up to that more modification. Do as many push-ups as you can. My goal is eight of each. Set your goal, set your intention. I might even go to my elevated surface. I'll see how I feel. Are we ready? Okay, tall plank position, wherever you're at, whether you're in a kneeling position or on that elevated surface, tall plank and go. One, two, keep that core. Three, four, good. Five, if you have to rest longer than a couple seconds, you're done. Move on to that elevated surface. I got one more in me. Good, drop to that modification and go as many as you can. One, holy crap. <laughs> Two, three, four. Ooh, I think I got three more. Three. Two, last one, use those lats. Woo! Amazing job, we did it. Awesome, awesome work. I don't know about you, but I am fatigued. I have jello arms. Uh, that was the perfect amount of resistance and challenge for me. So one thing you should do with all these push-ups we did is that door frame stretch. You can find it on the blog. Um, in so many different videos, go to the stretching blog, stretch that out, those chest muscles. You can do some finger clasps and open that chest up here. Really, really stretch those muscles. They're super tight, so they're gonna wanna be really constricted. But get moving, stay hydrated, stretch. Let me know how you like this. I love hearing from you. Thanks for showing up and crushing it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.